Well, it looks like NEPA is back in India, and we see in this NDTV report a 23-year-old college student admitted in a private hospital in Kerala has tested positive for the deadly Nipah virus, which killed 17 people in the state last year. The National Institute of Virology, which tested his blood samples, confirmed the presence of the virus, the government said today. Four more people, including two nurses, are down with the fever, and two of them have come in contact with the 23-year-old man. Over 80 people, among them 22 students, are under surveillance. And this is from the Indian <clears throat> Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And it says, following confirmation of a suspect case of Nipah virus disease by the National Institute of Virology in Pune, an urgent meeting was convened by the Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harsh Vardhan. And... And basically, he got together with his group and they uh, did the following actions. A central team with six officers have been deployed and have reached for um, doing an epidemiological investigation, contact tracing for early detection of suspects. Um, a control room estab was established, um, a team from the National Institute of Virology with monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies is being sent to the area. And um, a team from the National Institute for Virology is being sent to conduct and test bats for Nipah virus, and they're being dispatched today. Well, not the first time uh, that Nipah virus has been reported in Kerala State. Uh, and then, of course, it was just about a year ago today that uh, they had an outbreak there, which... Um, was confirmed in 18 people and 17 died as of June 1st, 2018. And that was the first outbreak ever reported in South India. And just to give you a little rundown on what Nipah virus is, you may not have heard it. It's a newly emergent disease that can be transmitted from its reservoir, the flying fox or a fruit bat, to both animals and humans. It was first recognized in 1999 during an outbreak in Malaysia. The outbreak among pigs infected approximately 300 people, in which 100 were killed within a year. Uh, the outbreak was also reported in Singapore, but no new outbreaks have been reported in either country since. Then it was first recognized in Bangladesh in 2001. And since then, there's been multiple uh, outbreaks in Bangladesh. And there's been a couple outbreaks in eastern India, in the West Bengal area, in 2001 and 2007. And then last year was the third outbreak in India, which was in Kerala State. It's a zoonotic infection. Um, during the initial outbreaks in 1999 in Malaysia and Singapore, most human infections resulted from direct contact with sick pigs. Um, but in Bangladesh and India outbreaks, consumption of fruits or fruit products like raw date palm juice contaminated with urine or saliva from the infected fruit bats was the most likely source of infection. Limited human-to-human -human transmission of Nipah virus was also reported among family and caregivers. So the infected bats shed the virus in their excretions and secretions such as feces, saliva, urine, and birthing fluids. Um, it's highly contagious among pigs and is spread by infected droplets. So how common is human-to-human -human transmission? Uh, it has been reported during most of the outbreaks in Bangladesh and India, Nipah virus spread directly from human-to-human -human through close contact with people's secretions and excretions. And in fact, in one of the outbreaks in India, 75% of the cases occurred among hospital staff or visitors from nosocomial spread. So the symptoms, very, very severe, right? We have a case fatality rate of somewhere around 70 to 80%, so very, very severe. Human infection can range from asymptomatic all the way to fatal encephalitis. And um, 
anyway, so yeah, NEPA is back in India. It's back in Kerala State one year later. So uh, we'll be keeping a closer eye on that. And I thank you for watching. Uh, comment below. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for the next news brief. And don't forget to check us out at the website, OutbreakNewsToday.com, the podcast, Outbreak News Interviews, which can be found on the website, on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Spotify, and the Outbreak News This Week radio show, which is aired Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time in the Tampa Bay area on AM 1380 The Biz, or online streaming at 1380thebiz.com. And check out our social media presence, Facebook, at Infectious Disease News, and Twitter, at BackDman63. Outbreak News TV is a production of The Global Dispatch. Copyright The Global Dispatch Incorporated 2019.